All the leading teams are in here at service after the first three stages in the really rough and tough cow and forest. Lots of action up and down. Richie Dalton, who won the power stage in four-wheel drives, had a big spill, which has caused some drive times amongst the leading teams. It's going to be really interesting to have a chat to some of the teams, see how they're going and what the strategy is to go back into those same three stages to finish off heat one. into the second stage this morning, the Wamboyan stage. Uh, hose blew off the intercooler, so no boost. We didn't know what it was, so we tried to rest we stopped, pulled over, restart the car, tried everything, and then we pressed on and worked out as we were driving that it had no boost and decided to continue through the stage. We lost a heap of time. Yeah. Um, it was a little bit interesting, because obviously that slowed stage time. Your brother Simon was behind you. It created a little bit of interesting tension. You obviously got a bit of time in your dust. Yeah, he was, he was pretty <laughs> colourful at the end of the stage. He was pretty pissed off. I was fuming. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> I've, I've seen some of him fight up a few times, but I think you were, apparently. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I might have scared the officials, so I apologise to the officials at the end of the stage. But, you know, look... It, it's so much going on, and you're, so, you're on the edge so much. You're fighting for a win. It's out of your hands, and you don't know how hard to push. You're, you're close. It's just uh, such a build of emotion, isn't it? Oh, totally, and we nearly wrote the car off, like, yeah. three times in the dust, just trying, you know, so... It was really hard, and you, you start, you've got to weigh up the risk yeah. of what's going on, and, yeah. and we'd already done a little bit of damage to the car from pushing hard, you know, so in Canberra's one of these events, you've got to stay in the middle of the road and keep it clean, and I felt I was doing that. First stage was great, second stage was awesome. Yeah. Unfortunately, it was cut short for us, but yeah, we pushed really hard through that one, and the last stage, I sort of buttoned off a bit just to conserve and make sure we got to the finish and maintained our position, which is probably a silly thing, because it probably affected our drive time a little bit, but... You know, you live and learn. Well, you just mentioned drive time. You're one of the handful of cars that sort of stopped to obviously just assist uh, Richie with a, with a fire. So you've done that. You've got a drive time. You're right in the mix there for a, for a heat win here. Yeah, if I can put me, pull my finger out, we can go. I, like, Molly had a big go in the last stage. We thought we had a clean run. We come back into service and we've actually um, cracked the sump and we were just really lucky that we have some sort of foam protection on the sump guard and it's pushed up against the sump and basically held the engine oil in for the last stage. So. Um, we've got a spare one, so uh, it's just a matter of uh, getting it done now, hopefully in time, and get back out there. Well, luckily, we got saved by the bell. We got a flat in the second one, uh, and they cancelled the stage. So, yeah, very much saved by the bell, but um, lost a little bit of time in that last one. I think just went took it a bit too easy in that last rough stuff, and um, really lost a fair bit of time with the other guys. But, you know, I think it gave me a little bit of local knowledge. It's hopefully going to play my way. I know it's a long, long tricky day tomorrow, and it's, um, you know, these paths, these roads are cutting up a little bit, so we'll uh, push on this afternoon. And, Mark, we spoke at the end of one. You said you were going to go straight to Sirs Park. You've been here ever since. Is that going to rectify anything to get you back out this afternoon or not? Uh, not sure yet. All the boys are on Mick Patton's car at the moment because that's obviously the priority because he's winning four-wheel drive. But um, we've finally got access to the computer. So I know the boys from Race Talk have been working furiously to try and find out what's wrong and trying to you know, change some settings. So hopefully in the next five, ten minutes we'll have an answer and fingers crossed we can get back out there and at least see what they've been doing has worked. Mick Patton, great start on the home event. Yeah, it was really nice. Their first three stages were a uh, good clean run, which was the plan of attack, but um, no rocks and debris in the middle of the road, so it was nice to just uh, yeah run through there, but it was great. Yeah, the car's, the car's really good. I think after a frustrating season, you're really enjoying this you know, step back into the four-wheel drive for you. It just seems to match with you, you know, the pace of the car, the whole package is really working for you. Yeah, look, I think there's a big part of it, but I think probably one of the main things is just having the boys behind me do it and then I don't have to worry about it and it's just yeah it works out really really well for me but look the car's great the burning was great in there um, and yeah just clean and tidy and keep it in the middle of the roads the, the plan of attack. Yeah we're happy a um, couple of little mistakes in the second stage there so if we didn't have them we would have been right on Molly's pace um, so yeah really happy with how it's all going and seeing a few of the other guys parked still parked in the service area just then um, I think we might be pulling a bit of time back so um, yeah, we'll keep doing what we're doing. Bill Hayes, that sump in there, the boys didn't quite get it done on time. That puts the pressure on. Yeah, a lot of pressure on, I guess. There's pressure on in every rally in the ARC anyway. But, uh, yeah, just struggled with one bolt, unfortunately. Stripped a bolt. Had to cold chisel it off in the end. So, uh, yeah, we're seven minutes late, 35 seconds down. I think she'll have a go, though. There's no doubt about that.